We are live from Neville's Quarter. From Neville's Quarter. And from, you yeah. should stay on this thread, not a different thread. Uh, nice. See how you flip that around. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to do that. <laughs> Saving it up. Awesome. No, we're really excited. We have a different thread here with us today. Thanks for having us. Um, yeah, good to be here. Alicia, Alicia and Rob. Um, so have you guys watched the show? Have you been on the show before? Yeah, so, we've both watched it. Yeah. And now you've been on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> um, so Lex does a coin flip, and you guys call it, and we just try to hop right in the music so people stay. Let the watch. music begin. All right. All right, so. Tails. Yeah. Oh, cool. So you guys yeah. choose what you want to do. Go um, first or second. All right. I think uh, we'll go first. Cool. Awesome. Nobody ever does that. Did you do that, that because you said every single episode like they always choose us? <laughs> well done. Awesome. So what's what's the first song you guys got for us today? Uh, this is called Behind the Curtain. Awesome. Well, it came to my attention at the table. In the kitchen, broke into pieces on the bathroom floor, and the walls they are crumbling, the ground is rumbling. As I turn and head for the door.
Yeah, it was. Um, that was amazing. So yes. was that was that like a uh, Alicia song or a Rob song or is that a co-write? How that come about? That was a, a song I wrote. Okay. Before we met. Okay. And hadn't been playing it much. Um, we had a recording of it from this session we did in Dartmouth. Okay. And uh, Alicia kept saying, "No, I I like that. Like we should play that more." So we started playing it more. Cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. That's awesome. Accurate description. How I personally feel sometimes. Yeah. Right. And you play the harmonica so well, which is rare. Oh, thank you. Yes, that was meant as a compliment. I want to say that yesterday. You heard them yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time when you see somebody with one of those things, they're just like, I'm making a whole bunch of noise. Sometimes, yeah. You seem like you know what you're doing. It's not an easy thing. It's way more yeah. fun to play it loud, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but I realized that if I do that, then people don't like it so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's funny. I learned to play it softly. You, you <laughs> have to play it so people don't, don't walk away. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. True, true, true. Awesome, thank you. Well, Last like, night you did a full one solo. It was very loud, and I don't think anybody went away. <laughs> Just to offer some contradictory evidence. But, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, uh, I guess we'll play you guys a song now. I think, I think you guys heard this one when we played at um, the puppet show. Um, it's the one, uh, our Earth Day song that we wrote. Yes. Yeah. It's called Spin Like a Dance. Who's that teenage girl, Thornburg? What's her first name? Greta. Greta. That is Greta. This one's for you, Greta. <laughs> She's my newest idol. You don't know who I'm talking about. No. no. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I love yeah. it. Sounds like she puts the wind in your sails.
difference, right? <laughs> well, you yeah, guys have seen a lot more of it. Look. Yeah. <laughs> like that in the right spots. Depends nice. how you look. Plastic? <laughs> well, you guys have seen a lot more of it, considering you've been in two countries and we've been here. At least. How many countries have you gone and played music to? Together? Mm. Yeah. We've gone to one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. Yeah, wow. wow. Yay. <laughs> Good question. Have you even made it to eight states yet? <laughs> 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 right. We've saying. driven through eight states, maybe. Yeah. It counts. Yeah, it counts. Awesome. So this next well, song yeah. is like the song that you're like known for. I Around here, like. apparently. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. It's got quite a following. <laughs> And, and I think what people really like about it is that, like, the language in it seems like it's, like, from a different time. Cool. So, well, how did that come about? How did you figure it out? Well, it's a song that I, or it's a story that I wanted to write a song about, or, like, an idea that I wanted to write a song about ever since I was probably about 11 years old. Mm. Um, at the time, I was in a singing group where we wrote original songs, but we... Um, had made a rule where you have to write about food. That was like our rule. It had to be about food. Okay. Um, so I couldn't write the song yet because I had this rule. <laughs> um, but I tried. I tried a couple of times and would think of it again and had it on the back burner. And then finally, um, almost, I guess almost three years ago now, two, year, two and a half years ago, something like that, um, it just uh, all came out of me at once. I was and I sat down, but I sat down and like tried to write it before. It was never resembled what it is now. But I like the idea existed, and mm -hmm. then suddenly it was just ready. Yeah. And I think I maybe altered one word. Awesome. Well, afterwards, awesome. It was a long time happens. of subconscious that I was developing. Yeah. yeah. I I I, I know that feeling song. of having like pieces of things like just sitting around and you're like, I know I want to write this song one day. Right. But it's, well, it's, actually the it's last, not coming right now. The last song that we're going to play as well was also that sort of song where I knew I wanted to write about that sort of thing. And I knew the way that I wanted to write about it. And then finally it, it came out came. very recently. Cool. Like a couple weeks ago, mm. so. Awesome. Well, will you play it for us? Yeah. <clears throat> this is called Potter's Field. Got enough by Rumina. Thank you. 
potter's field. I would settle for a stone without a name. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so, so Alicia, when you write, are you on an instrument or do you just write words? Um, it depends. I sometimes I'm in the position where I'm just able to write song uh, the words, and then I have the melody going in my head. Sometimes I'm working on the ukulele, which I'll play for our last okay, cool. song when it comes to that. And uh, sometimes I'm on a guitar. Okay, cool. I've not. I've actually I have worked out melodies on the fiddle. How often do you use technology to songwrite this song? Something people don't normally ask, but that's actually what I do a lot. Well, I, I end up using the notes section oh, on yeah. my uh, telephone a lot because in the UK, Robert does all the driving. All right. So sometimes I'm writing songs on the, while we're literally on the road because um, an idea strikes me, and so then I'm, I'm just. Uh, you know, and the ukulele fits in the front seat. Yeah, as well. yeah. 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 But it's rarely am I, rarely <laughs> am I writing. I'm usually practicing when I'm playing the ukulele. In the car. Yeah. Rather than writing a song. It's a great day. Just happened to have a ukulele. Oh, on hand. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's because we told you about the space the size. <laughs> yes, I love my, my suitcase. I wish, I wish we could have had the drum kit in here. but. <laughs> I was thinking about just holding, like, wearing the snare on, oh, my, yeah. on my lap. That would have been cool. <laughs> awesome. I, I love that you're able to do that, the percussion, while singing. I do that on stuff with a shaker on some of our songs, and it's so difficult for me. Mm. It'll probably... It's like trying to rub your tummy and pat your head. Absolutely. Isn't it? <laughs> it took me yeah. years of playing percussion I thought about that exactly. before that uh, my I was able to pair the two, and it was actually we were commissioned to play for a barn dance that was like a it was like a one day festival sort oh, of thing, wow. and it was under the sea themed. <laughs> and so we had to learn under the sea. <laughs> and uh, I was playing cajon at the time, and that was the first song that I was ever able to play the drums and sing at the same time. It's a pretty complicated song. It's a lot of lyrics, yeah. But at the same time, it is a familiar, like I didn't have to think about the melody at all, you know? And it's a beat that I've done a lot, you know, not just okay. to that song, but just like in general, it's a beat that I've done a lot, and so somehow it was just like... Wow. It was all the pieces yeah. I needed to be able to <laughs> break through. Wow. I, I, I just started taking guitar lessons for the first time ever. Nice. And um, so I, I'm learning how to do like pick a note, strum, pick a note, strum, pick a note, mm. strum. And like, Is it called like boom chuck? Is that what that yeah, is? I don't know. Is it? But <laughs> for me, I've always just it played the chord. And that was right. it. Yeah. Like, instead of like picking a note, strum, pick a note, strum. Right. And so well, I'm, like, I'm, I'm struggling with that that part of like trying to sing my song while I'm right, doing right, the focus right. of pick a note, strum, pick a note. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yeah. Take it slow, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Build that up. Yeah. And, then, and then I watch you and I'm yeah. like, oh, how did he do that? Oh, <laughs> it's all in the phone. <laughs> awesome. So uh, we're going to play a quick song, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, right. yeah we're going to okay. play before. Right, yeah. All right. So this so, is going to yeah. be real simple glasses. That's too bad. We're going to have to re-fix the camera after this, though. I'll let you do that. Okay. She's going to play piano. So she yeah. Wants to make it. yeah. Be okay. careful, there are lots of people in there. <laughs> There's lots of people in there. Yeah, yeah, so Brian is so... <laughs> I moved them around too much. <laughs> <Didn't like laughs> Sorry. <it seasick. laughs> so do you guys remember the, the big eclipse event that we had here? Oh, we were in solar eclipse. Oh, you were in the UK? Oh, yeah. It was huge here. I know. Um, so we, uh, we bought uh, glasses. Like, we bought, like, a whole box of them. Nice. And we went down and sat across from Merritt's and told them the college kids. And so nice. it was, like... So it was like we were like <laughs> drunk, push, drunk pushers of like. But some I think they came in like a huge set for some kind of deal. It wasn't like, yeah. oh yeah, we're gonna drink some. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. Was, I thought you were yeah. gonna say that you gave them out to people who were like look, just looking at the sun. So, so, no, so, so we were sitting. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're 
There were quite a bit of medical issues going on with people we're, not using our we're, uh, equipment. We were sitting in the parking lot of Crossing Merits, right. pushing right. these glasses. Nice. And so we wrote the song of Rose While Colored we were Glasses while we were waiting. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And now it sounds like we're a drug song. So. Yeah, like a depressant. <laughs> Can I get some of those glasses? <laughs> 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 you got more of those? I'm going to around. I'll look around after the show. differentthread.com, a different thread on Facebook. On Twitter, it's a diff thread. A diff thread, yeah. <laughs> and on Instagram, uh, a different thread. And you can find us on YouTube, Spotify, all of the other ones. Awesome. Um, all of the ones. Our mm -hmm. next show is on Sunday, as you mentioned. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. oh, did we mention that? No, I didn't. We're hosting a, a songwriter's showcase in Durham every Sunday in October at Arcana 
Um, it's a free event. Uh, we're taking donations for the artists, and the focus is on songwriting and perhaps even a discussion should it want to unfold. And I'm some looking of our forward to that. First guests are these two lovely people here. Woo! Yeah, well. that's okay. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. As well as Shannon O'Connor and Russ Hames, which uh, together create... Um, D-Town Deuce. Yeah. And so you can check that out this Sunday Deuce. in Durham at Arcana, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Cool. Awesome. Anything else you want to tell the world? We'll be playing play um, uh, Beers and Banjos, the Beers and Banjos Durham oh, location cool. on the 13th. Of October. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, that's kind of our upcoming, yeah. couple of our upcoming shows. The rest of them are on the website. Cool. Uh, at differentthread.com. There you go. Differentthread.com. Uh, very good. And people right. know where to find you. <clears throat> yeah. This last song is, um, I, I ended up actually coincidentally finishing it on, like, International Opioid Awareness. <laughs> day or something because it's about um it's about people who struggle with addiction and not being able to um quit and and it's kind of more trying to focus on i've had friends who have um have passed away because of the opioid crisis um in some way or another and um it came as a real shock to me because when i knew them when they were present in my life, it was not when they were addic in their addiction. And so sometimes it's um, invisible. And I think that when a lot of people hear this song, they also won't hear what it's about. And that's part of it. Um, it's invisibility. <clears throat>
Check us out Sunday at Arcana. Yes. Yeah, 7 p.m. Bye. Bye.